Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet the herringbone half double crochet hat. I also made a cowl from the same stitch in the same yarn. There is a tutorial for it as well and today we are making this hat in the same stitch. It's a very very easy pattern. It's great for beginners. It's a one row repeat and then we have three rows of decreases which are very very easy to do. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful hat. Today I'm using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle. I am using the King Cole Timeless Chunky Yarn, a beautiful yarn to work with. And also I I will use the Kinko Cosmos. This has a beautiful glitter effect and it's just beautiful. You can see how glittery it is, but of course you can use any yarn you want. And now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot and we will make a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we will need the second chain from our hook. The loop on our hook does not count as a stitch. So one, two, you will insert your hook into the second stitch, grab your yarn, pull up. You have two loops on your hook and now make a single crochet. So grab your yarn and go through two loops. Insert your hook into the next stitch, Grab your yarn, pull up two loops on your hook and again grab your yarn and go through both loops. And you will have five single crochets in this row. And here's our last one. For the next row you will chain one and turn your work around and now we will work in the back loops only. So you see we have two loops over here but we will be working in the back loop only. It's very important not to miss the first stitch. So insert your hook into the back loop, grab your yarn, pull up and make a single crochet. Again in the back loop only, grab your yarn, pull through, two loops on your hook and now finish your single crochet. In this row you will also have five single crochets. In the back loop only, one single crochet and what's very important is the last stitch over here. For beginners it's sometimes easy to miss that stitch so make sure you don't and insert your hook again into the last stitch in the back loop only and finish your single crochet. And now again chain one, turn your work around and again in the back loop only one single crochet and in this row you will also have five single crochets. And you will repeat this row over and over again until you reach your desired head size. What I would recommend is to crochet it a little bit uh, shorter than uh, your head size because the yarn will stretch a little bit. So make sure it fits around your head pretty tight because like I said since we're working with a big hook it will stretch a little bit. So just repeat this row over and over again until you reach your desired head size. I repeated the row over and over again and this is how my band looks like. Like I said, make sure it's a little bit tighter around your head because this will stretch out. Like you can see it already has a good stretch to it. Just like I said, make sure it fits around your head pretty tight. And now we can sew or crochet both sides together. Now we will crochet both sides together. So just insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn and make a slip stitch. This is just to secure the stitch and now insert your hook into the same stitch again. Go into the next stitch on the opposite side and make a slip stitch. 
What I do now, I insert my hook into the back loop only on this one side and through both on the other side. Grab your yarn and make a slip stitch. And you will repeat this in every stitch. Since we only have five stitches, it's very easy and fast to do. Into the next stitch. And again into the last stitch. And this is how it looks like. Crocheted those both sides together. What I do, I turn this around so now it's on the other side and now we will work one single crochet all the way around so chain one insert your hook into every stitch you can you don't have to watch out for anything just insert your hook where you can and make one single crochet all the way around so just one single crochet all the way around and I see you back in just a minute once we reach our last stitch. Crochet all the way around and this is how it looks like. Now to finish off this row with single crochet you will insert your hook into the first single crochet and make a slip stitch. Just grab your yarn, pull through and pull through. And now we can start our next row. We will make a chain two and insert your hook into the next stitch. This is the stitch we'll be working in. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook and now go with your hook under the second loop and pull up. You have two loops left on your hook. Now grab your yarn and pull through. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up. You have three loops on your hook and now again, turn your hook around, go under the second loop, two loops on your hook left, and now grab your yarn and pull through two. For this hat, we will also work in spiral rounds. So all you're going to do now is repeat this stitch over and over again in every stitch. I show you one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up. And now again, under the second loop, two loops on your hook. And now again, grab your yarn and pull through two. And you will repeat this all the way around and I will show you how to crochet the next round in just a moment. I repeated the herringbone half double crochet all the way around. I'm here into my last stitch now. And normally you would insert your hook into the next stitch and make a slip stitch to finish this round. But we will be working in spiral rounds. So all you're going to do now is just keep crocheting the stitch in every stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first herringbone half double crochet, grab your yarn, pull up and just keep crocheting. And now you will repeat making one stitch all the way around and around until you reach your desired head size. Um, to make sure you are always at the beginning or the end of your row, you can see it where our beginning yarn is. Like I said, it's not important, but working in spiral rounds makes it the beautiful look and you don't have any gaps or anything in between. So for now on, just keep repeating one stitch all the way around until you have your desired head size. I will crochet a couple more rows and I will tell you in just a moment how many rows I did to finish off my head. I repeated the row 12 more rows and this is how it looks like. My head measures right now about eight 
inches. Uh, what we are going to do, we are going to crochet two more rows. And what I wanted to say, this is the desired height for my head. If you want to make a beanie out of that, you just repeat this row for a couple more rows. And now, like I said, here's our beginning strength of yarn. And what we are going to do roughly about the same height, we will place a stitch marker. Because now we will be making two rows of decrease rows, which are very easy. Okay, so just insert your marker. And now let's start with our decrease. So what we're going to do is yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, and again, turn your hook around and go under the second loop. Normally you would grab your yarn again and go through the two loops, but we're going to leave those two loops on our hook. Now, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up, you have four loops on your hook, and now again, go only through the third loop. We have three loops on our hook, and now grab your yarn and pull through all three loops. And this is our decrease. The next stitch is a normal half double crochet. And now again, a decrease. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up, finish your half double crochet, just leave the two loops on your hook. And again, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up your yarn, you have four loops on your hook, and now go under the third one, and now grab your yarn and pull through. And you will repeat this all the way around, two half double crochets together, and then one normal. And you will repeat this all the way around until you get into your stitch marker. I repeated this all the way around and now I'm back at my stitch marker. What we are going to do now, we grab the stitch marker again, place it into the last stitch we've made. So just insert it so you know where to finish the next row. And in the next row, we will be working only decreases. So no single one in between, just two together all the way around. So again, into the next stitch, and into the second, a decrease, and you will repeat this all the way around until you reach your stitch marker again. I repeated the row all the way around and now we are going to do one more row of decreases again. So here's my stitch marker from the previous row. So all I'm going to do is insert it into my last stitch here again. And now we will do exactly the same thing for one more row. So again, two together all the way around until you reach your stitch marker again. So again, two together all the way around. I crocheted this all the way around and now I'm back at my stitch marker and now we will remove the stitch marker and fasten off. So you insert your hook into the next stitch, make a slip stitch, chain one and cut your yarn. Now we will need our yarn needle, just pull the yarn through the needle and now we will close up this little hole that is left on our head with just a couple of stitches. You just insert your needle through the first um, loop over here and insert into the next stitch. You see the hole is very, very tiny, so we only need a couple of stitches and into the next one and into the last one and pull tight. And you see now the hole is closed up and now I just go through with my needle and now I will sew in my ends. So now it's just to sew in both of those ends we have left 
and we are done with our head. So just sew in your ends. Once you sewed in all your ends, we are done. What you can, uh, of course, make, it's a pom-pom. I used my Clover pom-pom maker. They have those in different sizes. It's really easy to make your own pom-pom. And I think it looks great with the glitter in it. And now all I'm going to do is put the pom-pom on my head and we are done. Okay, I sewed on the pom-pom and our head is done. Done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with me and how to make this beautiful and easy hat. I would love to see your pictures. You can find me on Instagram. And of course, I love to read all your messages. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back soon. Bye.